It does take a team that has a experience with Moya Moya disease to recognize the subtle symptoms, the subtle imaging findings uh, to, to make the right diagnosis. You can think of Moya Moya disease as a syndrome where the brain vessels, the big highways going to the brain, over time become narrow. When this happens, the brain may not get adequate blood flow, which can cause problems like stroke. You want somebody or a team that's seen this before, managed it before, and knows how to really treat you like an individual. It's an imaging-based diagnosis. With all sorts of other advances in post-processing and analysis of the images, we can make much more specific diagnoses. The most important thing when you see a patient with Moya Moya disease is to uh, study their vascular anatomy, their brain anatomy, and brain perfusion, and to really make the right diagnosis. Getting the diagnosis correct is imperative because that's going to completely impact what our management and treatment recommendations are. We go through each patient's case individually and tailor a plan which can be anywhere from observation, ongoing surveillance imaging, or the actual intervention in terms of a bypass. We can intervene and supply new blood flow to the brain to compensate for the lost blood flow and that can reduce risk of stroke and in some cases reduce risk of future brain hemorrhage and hopefully even improve cognitive function. Once the patient has to go through surgery, when we see them afterwards, it's a really usually wonderful moment where we can give patients their lives back or at least dramatically improve their quality of life.